All right, guys, we're back. This is Chris Dim, IPB Pro, and we're going to talk a, a little bit about changes today. We're going to talk about, you know, what are you going to do when change is going to happen to you? It's going to happen. Change is going to come your way. Are you prepared for changes? And that's the question I have for you. Are you ready to take the punch? Because health changes are going to come in. Relationship changes are going to come in. Finance changes are going to come in. It always follows through those three categories. The only difference is how you take in these changes because they're going to come. Surprise, you're going to get more surprise in your whole lifetime than you ever have. And you're going to come home sometime and it could be your spouse. They might not feel like they want to be there anymore. It could be, you know, some type of uh, uh, relationship in a sense where, you know what, they, you get hit blindfolded from behind. You don't know what's, it's coming and it, it comes to you and then you're like, what am I going to do now? And, and that's exactly what happened to me, you know, 15 and a half years, next thing you know, hey, guess what? Relationship don't want to happen anymore. What did I do at this point? Oh yeah, I was stressed out of my mind. But you know what? I had to be prepared for changes. You know, you're going to go ahead and get that unexpected IRS bill or, or, or something is going to come up and you're just not ready for it. It's going to happen. So the question that I have for you is, are you prepared for changes? It's going to happen. Are you ready to take the punches? It's going to happen. You know, or are you accepting it? Means that are you looking at it and say, you know what? These things are going to come. There's nothing I could do about it. All I can do right here is try to stay focused, try to stay positive, try to stay happy and deal with it because that's all you can do. Because if you're not happy and you're stressed out about it, you're going to get more of those things. Guarantee you. So you're going to deal with it two ways. You can deal with it in a stressful way or you can deal with it in a more focused, positive, happy way. It's up to you. The changes are going to, it's going to happen. Okay. So my thing is, is look at it as a business means that you know what when your employee is going to come in and they steal from you or they're not there anymore or they decide to quit or whatever it is you're going to have to deal with it right if your boss is going to fire you you're going to have to deal with it right you're going to have to go get another job so what i'm saying is take the punch but be ready for the changes it's going to happen to you and so i want you to be prepared prepare for changes accept changes ready for the punch and keep on going with full force. Don't stop. Don't get stopped in your track just because these punches are going to come in. It's going to come. What you want to do is just learn how to just deal with the punches. So, you know, be prepared for that. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, and what I get from you guys is you guys want to hear about, you know, some type of, 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 of workout or health tips or something. And today we're going to talk about two things. One thing is if those of you that are looking to drop some body fat, those of you that want to get going, and those of you who don't want to do a lot of cardio, you don't have to. But do some type of cardio, and you're going to make up in two ways. If you're going to work out at a faster, consistent pace, maybe hit three, four, five, six machine, short pace as far as rest, 15, 20 seconds, go and go and go and go, and go ahead and circuit train, and go ahead and put five to six exercises together for you, and just go ahead and circuit train that machine, go ahead and get it done, 15 seconds, next one, next one, next one, next one, then you take your break, and then go again, and sometime you might want to work yourself one round, then you go to two rounds, pretty soon you'll do three rounds, pretty soon you're going to be going heavier weight, pretty soon you're going to go higher reps. But I want you to keep that consistent pace and I want you to do cardio afterward. The reason why is the first 10 to 15 minutes, your body is basically just getting to warm up. If you notice, you don't sweat until you hit about 15, 20 minutes. Hit your cardio afterward, you can do less cardio and you don't have to do that much and get it done. Those of you that are really looking to put on some muscle and still burn body fat, you're going to do the same thing. Just rest a little bit of less, go ahead and add a little bit more heavier weight and do a little bit more less rep repetition. And what that's going to do is going to give your body a little bit more, uh, more time to get that blood flow oxygen back into your muscle so you can go ahead and get a nice complete full set again. So therefore, let's go ahead and go out there, let's get to work, let's get ready for changes, keep on putting it in there, keep that smile on your face and never, never stop, never quit no matter what you want to do. Same thing with my leg situation, you know what, I'll never stop walking. I'm going to keep trying and keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. Even if I die, I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to make sure I'm walking, I'm doing leg press, and I'm going to make sure no matter what change is going to happen to me, and I'm not prepared for this change, but guess what? I'm accepting this change. Accept where you're at, and let's go ahead and take action, go out there and make it work. I love you guys. See you on the next video. God bless.